Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Trends with Dayton. How are you doing today? Okay, guys, um, kindly subscribe to my channel. This is Trends with Dayton. Yes, from our gist, yeah. This lady right here, she's actually telling us a story of when she went through in the hands of a man. Yes, honestly speaking, things are really going wrong these days. Relationship always turning sore. All of a sudden, we don't know what is happening with our men. Yes, most of these things is usually the men. Yes. Okay, this lady right there, she said, How oh, my fiancé beat me mercilessly until I lost my set of twins when I was pregnant. Okay, a 24 year old writer, Anita Matthias, has narrated her ordeal in the hands of her fiancé. Graham Inamdi, a 29 year old who allegedly assaulted her until she lost a set of twin pregnancy. Wow. Matthias said she met Inamdi in September 2021, and two months into the relationship, she discovered she was pregnant with a set of twin boys. Wow. Inamdi, who she claimed into fraud. Inamdi, who she claimed is into fraud, then asked her to move in with him. She said shortly after she moved into this apartment in Lake Lagos, they had their wedding introduction with a plan to tie the knot after she put to bed. According to her, he was very nice to me until the pregnancy came. I think he was not ready, but accepted it since he found out it was multiple pregnancy. Okay. After I moved in with him, things changed. I realized we can't have a conversation without him raising his voice and hurling insults at me. Four months into the pregnancy, I cloned his phone, I cloned his phone rather, just to know who I was dealing with. He later found out that that was when he started physically abusing me. I was assaulted, tortured, humiliated, and suppressed by the one who I placed my life on the line for. I put my career, visions, hopes, and aspirations on pause for him, all in the name of love and raising a family. Oh. He turned me into a slave in my own home. I became a prisoner overnight. I started walking on egg shells, not following when the next line of action would be. I invested so much emotionally and financially that I kept on saying it would get better. Probably it was a double personality or maybe he's going through something. At some point, I was not having access to my cell phone. My life and decisions were being dictated by him. Mm -hmm. My opinions were no longer valid. Several nights, I will be locked outside my bedroom. Some nights, I will be confirmed to sleep on the floor of my bedroom. For no reason. Wow, this is too much. And when I try to speak out, I get slapped and dragged on the floor like a market thief. Wow. In all of this, I was still kneel down, saying, Sir, show me mercy, as if he was my Lord and personal savior. Mm -hmm. Fast forward to last month, he went to a party and came back with a woman. Wow. After she left, I knelt down beside him and asked him if he wanted me dead. He said no, that I should give birth to his kids before I die. Wow. I told him that I feel punished for no reason and I started crying. The next thing he said, I should leave his height. Then I angrily told him I would meet his own in front. Then I angrily told him he would meet his own in front. He slapped me and beat me mercilessly and drove me out of the house. It was my cousin who was living with us that came to my rescue. I started bleeding and was rushed to the hospital. One part of my body was paralyzed. Wow. I had spinal stenosis. I couldn't bend or sit properly. I had a fracture close to my spine. Doctors said they were going to carry out a procedure on me immediately to bring down my boys. I was eight months gone. Wow. It was cold and he said whatever they were going to do, they should just make sure his kids come out alive. Sadly, I lost the pregnancy on June 28. Wow, wow, wow. This is just too much for anybody to go through. Honestly, ladies, the time has come for us to just stand up and know your right, know your words. You shouldn't get to this. Like, seriously, what if it was your life that was taken in the process? 
I mean, she should have lo- left a very long time ago. Once it's an abuse, it's violent, it, don't wait until things go sore before you make a decision. It could take your life. Yes. Okay, yeah, another story right here is also about the relationship gone So, this one says Ghanaian big girl arrested for stabbing a Canadian boyfriend to death. Why oh why? This thing happened recently. Ladies always taking the life of their partner because of cheating. Should it get to this? No. You can always take your work if you cannot take the cheating aspect of your man. You can always walk away. Instead of taking a life, it's not going to be like, I wonder why ladies are dating, like their life depends on that relationship they have to, I don't know, your life is not in the hands of any man. If it's not working, you move. Move. What about taking a life? It is not worth it after all. At the end of the day, you just kill someone and then you're in trouble. That is a big trouble for you. So the story states that the police in Ghana have arrested an IG model identified as Safina Diamond for allegedly stabbing a Canadian boyfriend to death. The suspect was said to have stabbed the victim, identified simply as Frank, multiple times in the neck, what? And in the stomach, ah, leading to his death. It was gathered that the unfortunate incident occurred after a heated argument just few weeks after Frank arrived the country. Wow. Ghana Page reports that Safina claimed she killed him out of self-defense. That's a lie. According to her, she was only defending herself after Frank made an aggressive attempt to rape her. What? And they supposed to be lovers. What is the rape attempt today? I don't understand the rape aspect of this story. I'm sure it's all lies. What is the decision of relationship these days especially ladies once a partner cheats you want to kill the person like your life depends on the relationship no walk away walk away rather than doing the abominable things it is not i mean wow um uh, peter obi was at dynamics church international see the love man See all the love they were showing to him. See crowd. That was a good sign. Wow. Nigerians, they can't wait for this change. They are really craving for a change. We hope that this obedience guy. Okay, let's see. Let's see where it goes. Let's see how it goes. Trends and three. Let's make this change happen. And we also have with us tonight, Mr. Peter Obi, who has joined us in for the service this evening. Hallelujah. to have you with us tonight. 